I enjoy teaching. That's uh, the bottom line. I just realized that after teaching a number of times uh, at the college level. Like, this is really fun. This is what I enjoy to do. Uh, I get energized by it. So I uh, started teaching uh, just introductory accounting courses. I've been doing that on and off for the past 10 years now here at Carleton. Uh, so I've got about five or six clients right now where I actually do accounting. That's what I do during the day. So, uh, And I find teaching accounting makes me a better accountant. So, you know, what I teach in class is what I do. You know, I prepare financial statements. I analyze financial statements. I help managers in their decisions. We talk about pricing all the time uh, and, you know, should we buy this piece of equipment or not? And everything I touch in class, I've done in the real world, you know, many times over. Um, you know, we talk about assurance and audit. Well, I do that all the time. My financial statements are always being audited on an annual basis. Uh, we talk about uh, controls over cash. We talk about, you know, should we make or buy something? All of these subjects that I teach, I do. <laughs> That's what I do. So I find I can bring that experience to the classroom. You know? And it also reinforces my accounting knowledge. Like it makes me a better accountant. Because then I'll say, oh yeah, I remember I taught that. <laughs> you know, and I should think about this, this, and this. You know, whereas, you know, some people have been away from school for a number of decades, as I have, might have forgotten a few of these things over the years if you haven't used them. So I find that certainly helps. You know, teaching helps me become a better accountant. I enjoy doing accounting, so that uh, first and foremost, that's why I'm in accounting. But then there's the additional uh, advantage when you're working in a nonprofit for working for the greater good. You know, that's what I find. Uh, so, you know, I'm the accountant for my church, and I find that's, that's part of the greater good. You know, when I'm the accountant for the Horticultural Council, and that's for the greater benefit of farmers, horticultural producers, actually, the potato farmer and tree fruit farmer, apple producer. Uh, I work for um, Physical and Health Education Canada, and that's an association of phys ed teachers. And so it's for the benefit of them and schools and kids and, you know, physical activity as a, you know, as a concept and, and promotion of physical activity. And I really get a kick out of that. It's not just all about profit. You know, we're, we're not always trying to maximize profit and do better for the shareholders. We're doing better for society. We're doing better for the producer, um, the researcher, and uh, plant science or whatnot, uh, whatever it is, uh, you know, I find that uh, gives you just that little bit of extra, you know, <laughs> feel good <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, that I've done something that's uh, better than just profit. Fun. <laughs> I've got three kids and a dog. <laughs> yeah. Three daughters, teenage daughters. That's why I've got all these white hair. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that keeps me pretty busy right there. But uh, yeah, I like to uh, spend time with my extended family. I enjoy running. I run races just for fun on occasion. Um, 10Ks and half marathons even. Um, yeah, walking my dog, my little mutt. <laughs> so, but it gets, gets the stress relieved, you know. It's just, you forget about everything else. You appreciate everything, you know, on your run. The trees, the birds look a little bit different. It's, it's a real uh, escape from reality.